Welcome back to the first of our summer special episodes where we're looking at motorhomes with French bed layouts. Now money can't buy you love, but it can certainly buy you one of these. A Niesman and Bischoff Arto 66 FA class is probably all the motorhome you'll ever need. It's a fantastic example of what designers can do when money is no object and there's a massive budget to work with, where they know that the client base is definitely gonna be able to afford this kind of product. There are so many amazing features, I don't think we've got time to cover them all. So without further ado, let's get right inside and have a look. Niesmann Bischoff has been making motorhomes for 30 years and is part of the mighty German Heimer group. The 66F is an A-class, the simple explanation means it's fully integrated, you can't see the join between the cabin and the rest of the vehicle. It's a seamless application of technology and design. The layout of this van sees a fixed bed at the back, a corner washroom, fantastic sociable wraparound lounge with a drop-down bed up above, meaning friends and family can come in and visit and even stay. And there are four belted travel seats so you don't have to travel as a couple all the time. The lounge will seat up to six around the table, which is flexible, can be slid in various directions to accommodate everybody. Three can sit around the L-shaped table here. The two captain's chairs rotate and there's another position here on the jump seat. There's plenty of lighting as well. Spotlights, LED rope lights, skylights, obviously the front windscreen, the side windows, amazing. The light just floods in from everywhere. Now this L-shaped kitchen is another example of remarkable equipment. Three gas burners, a sink, mixer tap, fantastic storage. But the thing that I probably love most of all are central locking kitchen drawers. Yes, you heard correctly, central locking kitchen drawers. How do they work? Well, just like this, you pull them open like that. They're soft closers. They go back into their receive position and then also all of a sudden locked, which basically means when you're driving along, no rattle and you can't open the drawers. How good is that? Now some more super clever design occurs in the kitchen storage department, I'm pleased to report. Check this out. Opening the cupboard door opens not one, but two cupboard doors. And even better than that, there's loads of wire racking inside. Not just one drawer, mind. There's a second one and a third one. So you could put acres of provisions in there. Fantastic if you want to hold yourself up for weeks on end without having to venture to the shops. It's all right there. Now, British buyers will love this tech tower. From the top, we have a very smart looking aluminium 800 watt branded microwave oven. Immediately below, a duplex oven and grill with probably the best feature for me. How good is that? That is just so amazing. Close it up. Underneath, we have a Dometic fridge that can choose the energy source automatically. Just leave it in A mode, so you don't even have to think about what you're doing. Gas, electric, it just does it itself. So here we are in the rear of the vehicle, in the bedroom, where I'm sure you'll agree the ambience is spot on. Combination of many great things, including strip lights above, diffuse lighting at the back, an extremely comfortable double bed with Froley springs underneath. But the one thing that I thought it was missing earlier on was a wardrobe. I looked around, I couldn't find one. I wondered, is it in here? No, it's a washroom. And then I thought, that seems a strange thing to forget to put in wardrobe. And then I thought, I bet there's more to it than that. And these designers have been working overtime. I was absolutely right. A quick look round, I released a simple catch. And this is what happened. Up comes the bed. And then just a question of push down on here. Push down on here and here. Hey presto, your very own pop-up wardrobe and hanging rail. Now the corner washroom is small but perfectly formed. Open the door and you will find just inside a shower area with the loo at the back and some lovely cabinet work including a cupboard above the loo. Perhaps it won't surprise some people if I told them that the vehicle behind me costs just under £100,000. Now for that kind of money, I think I'd probably want somewhere to be able to hang my coat. Apart from two hooks in the washroom, presumably designed for bathrobes, I couldn't find anywhere to do that. And I think that I'd also want something a little bit better than the plastic rim on my Tetford toilet. But all those things considered, this is a fantastic van from a manufacturer at the top of its game. B 
Being realistic, I could never aspire to the windscreen price of a Niesmann & Bischoff Auto 66F, so my money is with the Auto Trail Imala 715. I think it's a cracking van for the money and it does the French bed layout very well indeed. So where to go in your French bed motorhome? Well, how about France? That's what Alistair Clements did recently with a family trip to Paris. So here's his video diary. It's an unseasonably warm October half term and I've promised the kids something a bit different this year. Luckily we've got this Bailey Approach Autograph 765 and I've decided I'm going to take them to France to visit Paris, the French capital. Unfortunately, the one thing I don't have is a TV crew, so I'm afraid you've just got me, a GoPro and a dodgy microphone and let's see how we get on with the video diary. Welcome aboard our home for the week. The reason we've chosen this Bailey Approach Autograph 765 is that it gives us bags of space. There's plenty of choice for the kids too. Either we can make up a double from this lounge area or, at the touch of a button, another bed drops down from the roof. And it's a bunk too. What could be more fun than that? There's plenty of space for kids, although it might be a bit short for adults. And what about Emma and I? Well, come through to the back and I'll show you. This lounge area is absolutely massive. There's bags of space for all of us to sit in comfort, and at night it makes an enormous double bed, a real home from home. There's even a great sized kitchen and bathroom area too. We chose a very civilised middle of the day sailing with DFDS seaways. There's a good amount of time to have a cup of coffee on the boat, and then you roll off on the other side. And as soon as you're on the French auto routes, you realise just how wonderful their road system is. It's perfect, with hardly any sound from the motorhome behind. Well, we've pitched up here at Camping La Croix de Vieux Pont, which is about 40 minutes outside Paris. The weather here is lovely today, so we're going to enjoy the sight, the swimming, and even a beach. This site's a destination in itself. It's got a fantastic array of facilities. Our kids took advantage of the superb water slides, the three swimming pools, and even went for a pedal on the lake. Well, although we've had a lovely day here at La Croix de Vieux Pont, we really wanted to be in the centre of Paris, and we're quite a way out. It's a bit of a hike to get in from here. But we think we've found a site that will give us everything we need. It's only about an hour's drive away, so we're about to pack up the van and head over there. Don't forget that if you use the auto routes, you'll have to pay for those tolls. And when you get into Paris, watch out for height restrictors. Well, and here's the reason we've moved. This is Camping International, literally on the banks of the Seine. It's absolutely gorgeous here. We found out it's only a 10 minute walk to the station, from there it's 20 minutes into the centre of town, or even, whisper it so the kids don't hear, it's only just over 50 minutes all the way to Disneyland, which we might just manage to fit in while we're here. Although there's less for the kids to do here, it's a really beautiful sight. There are good sized pitches that are easy to get onto, and if you fancy something a little bit different, you can even stay in a wooden cabin on stilts. We've had an amazing time here in Paris, but now it's time to say, Au revoir. It's been fantastic to find out just how easy it is to visit the French capital with a motorhome like this. Well, that's all we have time for on this episode. Next time, we'll be looking at dealer special edition motorhomes. Until then, keep in touch with us on our Facebook page or via our website. So until next time, bye bye.